Hey, good morning, Math 7 students. So here is our next con. Hey, you know the name makes it sound um, difficult? It is not difficult. So it's called circumference of parts of circles. It's really the same as finding the circumference of a circle, um, but then you just have to figure out what portion of a circle they gave you. So here's what I mean by that. So first of all, let's review our circumference formula. To find the circumference of a circle, remember it's just circumference equals the diameter times pi. If you know the diameter, then you just multiply that by pi to find the circumference. Um, yep, you could do circumference equals 2 times the radius times pi, but it's the same thing. So we'll just go with the circumference equals the diameter times pi. So in this one, you know that the radius is 2, so then the diameter would be 4, so that's pretty simple. So then as we plug into our formula of this one, then we just plug in circumference equals pi times the diameter, which is, here's our diameter of 4 and pi. But notice, this is not a full complete circle. It's not one full complete circle, it's a part of a circle. And you might go, hey, that looks like three-fourths of a circle. And you'd be right. So what is three-fourths if I write that as a decimal? Three divided by four, if you do it quickly on your calculator, is 0.75. So all I did is I took the diameter of four, I multiply that by pi, and then I'm going to multiply that result by 0.75 because I only have 0.75 of a full circle. When I do all those easy math calculations out, I get 9.42. By the way, I expect you're doing this on a calculator, not on paper. Please do all these calculations on the calculator. It'll go much faster for you. So that's all there is to it. That's what it is, 9.42. Okay, let's do one more. We just got to make sure we know what we're doing here. So here's our next problem right here. Hey, we only have a half circle this time. So again, my diameter on this one is 12. And so we're going to plug into our formula. That circumference equals the circumference equals the diameter times pi. And then because we only have a half a circle, I'm going to multiply that by 0.5. Okay. So 12 times 3.14 times 0.5, use your calculator please, equals 18.84. And yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. All right. This one should be a quick one for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.